What do you think, Kaiser? Do you want some shade? Here's what we got going today. I'm out here with my buddy, Kaiser, and my girl, Ahsoka, and uh, we are looking at our patio here. And what do you notice? It's very sunny. We live in Eastern Washington, so we get lots and lots of sun. And we also love to hang out on our patio with our dogs. But we have no shade out here. So we got these old umbrellas that we've been using uh, to try to alleviate some sun from beating right on us. And as long as the sun is not right on us, it's actually pretty comfortable out here. We like to sit out here, have a nice beverage, and watch our dogs run around. But we've been wanting to create a permanent solution for the sun problem. So we ordered some sunshades from Amazon, and they're the kind that slide back and forth on cables. So there's a couple of ways you can do the sunshades. You could just mount uh, some eye bolts into the fascia, and then we could put some posts up out here and uh, then create a way to attach the sunshades. But we're gonna do it a little different. We are gonna build a full structure, but a lightweight structure uh, of posts and uh, some two by sixes and two by fours. It's gonna be all attached together and we're gonna make it freestanding. So you can see our patio here has an angle. So we're gonna have to bury a couple of the posts out here in the yard and we're gonna have to attach other posts to the cement. But overall, the idea is we're going to have our whole back patio, for the most part, shade it, at least the part that we like to use. So these are the sun shades that we got. They're seven foot by 16 feet, and we bought three of them. So we'll unbox these and show uh, what these look like out of the box. I'll also share the Amazon link. But these are gonna be the shades that we use to cover our patio. So here's a bird's eye view of our patio and uh, what is going on out there. As you can see, this was uh, professionally drawn uh, by an architect. So thank you uh, for Architects of America that helped uh, produce this beautiful print. Um, but basically what you see here is, here's all of the four by fours that we're gonna be using. And then we're gonna do two by sixes attached on both sides here against the house and out here uh, on the far point. And then we're gonna run by two, some two by fours by 16s just to give it some stability. Uh, and then the sunshades, the three of them will go right down the middle. And then I'm going to add a couple of four by fours here and here just for extra stability. But over here, we're eventually also going to put some other pull down sunshades because the sun comes in from this way in the morning. So here is our material list. This is all the stuff we're going to go to Home Depot to get and uh, hopefully that will be everything we need to get this project rolling. All right we got the little cross track hitched up with our little wagon we're ready to go get our materials. a beautiful Saturday morning here in Eastern Washington. We got all the materials home safe for our sunshade and uh, my wife got busy working on staining uh, most of the material so uh, we're doing really good there so uh, that's awesome. So now the material of course we'll have to touch it up and everything after we build it but uh, we got our material ready to go. We're gonna start uh, cleaning up here and uh, getting this baby going. So here's the corner where our first post is going to go. So I'm just gonna measure to make sure uh, we're plenty far enough away from the eaves. I'm also going to make sure that the frame is far enough away uh, from the fascia so we can eventually attach uh, some gutters to that fascia. So let's see where our first post needs to go. So this is where our first four x four is gonna be mounted. We're gonna be using these Tapcon screws. 
So it comes with the drill bit. Uh, we're going to use a standard drill that plugs in. We'll see how this goes. My neighbor has a hammer drill. Uh, so if these drill really hard, I might go and borrow that. So the uh, drill is uh, definitely struggling with drilling those holes out. So I am going to go and borrow my neighbor whose house is right there. I'm going to go borrow his hammer drill, uh, but it's still 8 o'clock on a Saturday morning, so I'm not going to go over there quite yet. So I'm going to move on to notching the 4x4s, uh, which we have to do um, because I want them to be notched so the 2x6s uh, will sit right flush against them, and then they'll be supported uh, by what's under the 4x4. So this is the notch you see here. That's what we have to cut out so the two by sixes can mount flush and then the weight of them will rest on the rest of the four by four. All right, first four by four notched. No hammer drill. My neighbor's not home. I actually broke off a couple of screws there so I had to drill another one out. Uh, and we're getting them in, but boy is it painful with this old Black & Decker uh, drill. So I got the three supports that go towards the house uh, so those are all installed and then i have the other two four by fours notched out and ready to go there's the third one there and i just cut my first two by six by twelve and i just stained the end of that so we're start starting to get close to our first assembly so we got the next step going here which is treating the part of the 12 footers that are going to go down into the ground uh, so that's the first coat of treatment uh, on there so i'm just treating the part that's going to be down into uh, the ground because the way this is going to land uh, from the angle of our patio here is there's going to be two posts that are actually in the ground all right so we got the first piece vertical so there is the backside supports installed with the 2x6 on top. They're attached to the ground now. And here's our first support on the far side. Uh, that one is installed, ready to go. And then I have a temporary board in between right now. That's just to kind of help stabilize everything while we continue assembling. Okay, so we got our two posts set in the ground now. Um, so now five out of the six posts are in. That back one I'm going to leave out for now. You can see there's that one and then about 10 feet over there'll be another one there. But now you can start to see it kind of taking shape of uh, what we're going to have covered, what we're not going to have covered. So time to get some more boards up. So we got our first permanent cross header up. So these are going to be on each end and in between the sunshades. And we got our temporary one removed now. So it's still a little shaky, but as we put it together, hopefully it will start to stiffen up and we can do some corner bracing too. But now we're gonna put on our first sunshade. All right, so we got the next cross piece in and our first sunshade up. Sunshades are a little bit tedious to deal with, but uh, nonetheless, uh, it is up and uh, it's closing by itself now. <laughs> So got to make some adjustments, but it's looking good. Was it going to get you? <laughs> okay, it's the beginning of weekend number two on this project. Uh, so we're in the same spot as my last video, but we got to get these 12 footers ready to go up here on this end. And we have one more four by four to put up there. But uh, since these are going to overhang a little, I'm going to put a little decorative uh, end on these so it looks a little more finished. There we go. A little touch up and let that dry. This time I'm going to pre-install these brackets so I don't have to do it on the ladder. So I have the brackets right here. So while these are drying, I'm going to install them for our last two 2x4x16s. Two so we got our last four brackets on there. So that's going to make it a lot easier. We won't have to put those on and measure while we're on the ladder now. All right, so just doing a little cleanup. But here is 
the sunshades all installed. They're all completely retracted out. So all in all, a couple of days of work, about a thousand dollars in material. And uh, are we happy with how it turned out? I think so. Yeah. All right. Dead battery?